Hi y'all, welcome to day 18. I'm so proud of myself. So, today, when I tell y'all, let me stop, pause. Hi y'all, how y'all doing? That was so rude of me to not say hello, to not greet y'all, to not welcome y'all to the channel. Like, none of that at all is crazy work is literal crazy work so how y'all doing i hope y'all had a great day it is about 5 38 p.m where i'm at i'm on my way to um I'm supposed to go to target but i'm not dressed for target so we're not going um i'll go in the morning i'm going to pick up the d doll the d dog from from work i laugh because i just saw one of my signs from my spirit guides that clearly i'm on the right track and what i'm about to say is what needs to be said so today was a day one because i was wondering why i was so like in a tizzy started my period five days early but okay anyway um but today has it's not been a bad day so i'm not gonna say that and it hasn't been like an overwhelming day it's just been a very eye-opening day and i don't know if you're watching this i don't know what whomever is watching this you know believes in but for me there is a higher power and then i believe firmly that you have spirit guides and your ancestors you know watching over you guiding you helping you and assisting you as much as you're going to allow them to right and and for me personally I have been a witness to just my own experiences in strengthening my belief in them and my comfort in them and my appreciation in them as a unit, you know? So when I say anything about the universe and God, I mean that all in whatever, whatever you believe in, I respect. Whatever you believe in, I respect. So respect me, okay? Because we can all coexist in one environment you feel me so today i was able to f like fully witness me slipping back into old behaviors sorry if it's loud i'm driving it's traffic um but i felt myself slipping into old you know like getting distracted from my path and from my goals that I have set for myself right and um hold on the difference is this time is that I was able to be like okay I hear I hear what y'all saying I see what I'm doing and now I have to make some changes. And instead of saying, okay, well, tomorrow I'm going to do this. I made immediate changes. Um, I'm not perfect whatsoever. So I like to share just that realness. You know what I'm saying? Because we all go through it, right? But <clears throat> so I got up this morning. I couldn't sleep last night because for whatever reason. Um, so typically if I can't sleep, I don't like to bother my husband. So I go into, um, my office cause there's a couch in there and I just take a blanket and my pillow and I just lay in there and I'll either watch a movie or whatever it may be. Sometimes I go in the living room, but you know, the, he doesn't like when I go into the living room, he prefers me to go into the office cause I don't know that's what my man prefers I guess he feels like more comforted if I'm in like further into the house than right at the front door but yeah anyway but this particular time I was just scrolling 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 so 
I've said in a few videos, I be playing Monopoly Go. I have been playing that obsessively. And when I get into these like obsessive um, moments, I don't want, I don't really know what to call it in this particular moment right now, but when I get into these like obsessive moments, I, I go in and I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there until like I'm done with it. Um, and this could be days, this could be hours, this could be <laughs> months. It just depends on the particular thing that I'm obsessing about and how much it holds my attention and interest. Um, so I feel like God was able to kind of reel me back in and allow me to really see like, hey, you got some goals that you're trying to reach and you started some stuff and then you haven't done them the couple, like the past couple days. I just want to like kudos to meditating last night before you went to sleep. But big girl, uh, you ain't finished your, uh, you ain't, you ain't do the other stuff that you've been doing every day up until a couple of days ago. And I'm really grateful for that because in the past, like I said, I would have been like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna do it different. Or I'd be like, okay, I'm going to start again tomorrow. I started immediately. I was like, I set a time limit for myself to do certain things that weren't productive. And I said, I was like, okay, I have until, it was 10 a.m. I was like, I have until 11 a.m. to do this. And then after that, I got to do this, 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 that, and that. It was 11 a.m. I put my phone down. I made sure I I did all those things, and and that was that. And I was like, okay, from this time, this time you can do it. And then after that, for the rest of the day, no phone, no nothing. Be present. And you have to. That takes practice. It takes work. It takes discipline. You really have to. You really have to like push yourself to do it when you want to make changes in your life when you are motivated like I don't want to do this anymore I can't live this way no more I don't want to you know I don't want to be this way no more I need to make some changes and you set goals for yourself you have to put in the work to make sure that you do that you have to put in the work we are not giving ourselves bare minimum in 2024 Okay, we're not doing it. No, we deserve so much more than the bare minimum. We're not bare minimum girlies and gentlemen who are watching. We're not. We deserve the world. We deserve to create the life we want to live. The life we want to have for ourselves. Okay, we deserve to create whatever a soft life looks like for us so when you find yourself going off your path or you or you're like oh i didn't do that today i was supposed to do that today if it's still that day and you can do it go do it go do it rearrange some things put your foot down to yourself give yourself some boundaries boundaries are not just for other people boundaries are for you too Put your foot down for yourself. Wag that finger at yourself and say, let's get to it. We won't got time to play with ourselves no more. We won't got time to sleep on ourselves no more. We got shit to do. January 2025, we're gonna be looking back and being like, I'm so I'm so happy I kept going. I'm so happy I stayed disciplined. I'm so happy I put boundaries on myself. And look at all the things I've accomplished. So that's my little little one two for the day for the day for the day day day. And I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. I love you and appreciate you. Follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram at Mavatish M U V A T E E S H. If I forget to put it on screen. And I love y'all. Thank you for watching. And if you are consistently watching, I, 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 I thank you.
And if you're new here, you like what you see or you want to see more, subscribe. Press that notification bell so you get notified when I post videos. And, um, yeah, <laughs> just do it. Just do it like Nike. All right, bye, guys.